The INFJ may seem difficult to please at times, but once you get to know this personality type, you'll realize that it's the simple things in life that make them happy. This introspective type has a zest for the things in life that really matter, opting for life experiences in comparison to materialistic things. So, what makes the INFJ feel energized and excited? Welcome, or welcome back, Cycle. Today, we'll be talking about the 10 things that instantly excite the INFJ personality type. Before we start, have you liked and subscribed to our channel? Go ahead and be sure to click the notification bell while you're there so that you never miss a video. Alright, jumping right into the video starting with number 1. Intellectual Conversation There's nothing that excites an INFJ more than genuinely connecting with someone through an intellectual conversation. Easily bored by small talk and useless banter, the INFJ personality type is intrigued by untraditional conversation topics like conspiracies, the meaning of life, the mysteries of the universe, religion, psychology, philosophy, and so on. They find joy in asking questions, listening to different answers, and understanding how other people view the world. The introspective personality type is known to be intellectually curious, so catching an INFJ's attention with a conversation that broadens their understanding of the world will keep them engaged and excited for hours. Number 2. The Human Mind like we said, one of the many topics that excites an INFJ personality type is psychology and understanding the inner workings of the human mind. Therefore, INFJs love anything that has to do with analyzing human behavior, which is one of the reasons they enjoy connecting with people despite their introversion. In fact, according to the third edition MBTR manual, many psychotherapists and counselors are INFJ personality types for this very reason. This type is extremely idealistic and empathetic by nature, which drives them to crave to understand the complex reasonings behind certain thoughts, processes, and behaviors of the humans around them. Books, discussions, documentaries, and podcasts about the human mind are all a great pastime for the INFJ. Number 3. Being Alone in Nature Although humans and intellectual conversations can excite the INFJ, in the end, they are truly introverted creatures. They love to do just about anything independently, but solitude while surrounded by nature can excite the INFJ in ways that nothing else in life can. The peace and quiet of a trail walk, a splash in the lake, or simply reading by a creek creates enough distraction to calm the busy INFJ mind without the overstimulation that some environments can entail. Even just a few minutes in nature can instantly provide an intuitive and meditative state for this introspective type, which usually results in insight to some of their greatest worries. A simple walk in the woods and an INFJ can solve the world's problems. Number 4. Adventure INFJs can be overbearing and controlling at times, especially if they're in charge of the outcomes of a situation. And while they don't exactly like being surprised, INFJs are in fact able to live on the edge and let their hair down every so often. Adventures for this introspective personality type are usually quite exhilarating and enjoyable once they get over their uncomfortability of pushing themselves past their comfort zones. In fact, the inferior function of the INFJ is extroverted sensing, which is all about experiencing the outer world through their senses. So while they may be stuck in their heads for 90% of their waking hours, a truly adventurous experience can allow the INFJ to come back down to earth and live a little. Let's just say we're not talking about a surprise bungee jumping experience, but maybe a spontaneous night out or a last minute camping road trip. Number 5. Reading and Learning Most INFJs know themselves to be avid bookworms and research lovers. They are curious about nature and extremely imaginative, so no matter what genre is chosen, the INFJ can broaden their knowledge or feed their imagination quite easily. A simple trip to the library or being recommended to a book by a friend can be just as exciting to an INFJ as a new movie release would be to some others. This is because just as others are able to enjoy a movie or show for what the producers have imagined, the INFJ loves to read the words and perspectives of others as it allows them inside the author's head. 
They are easily inspired by the messages, style and perspectives of written work. Number 6. Intimate Conversation Topics Just as the INFJ loves a good intellectual conversation to feed their curiosity, they also love a genuine intimate conversation when it comes along. This empathetic personality type may not be so good at understanding and organizing their own feelings, but when they are able to verbalize them to a trusted source, they can more, they can more easily come to conclusions. Yet aside from being able to talk about their own feelings, which is actually quite rare, the INFJ loves to hear about the good, bad and the ugly of other people's lives. They love to talk about anything that promotes raw human emotion, which includes all the fears, weaknesses, fantasies, failures, joys, ideas and successes that come with it. In fact, it's nearly impossible to become close with an INFJ personality type if you haven't participated in one of these intimate conversations, because it is required for them to feel as if they truly know and trust a person. Number 7. Creativity INFJs not only want a creative outlet, but most INFJs actually need some type of creativity in their lives to properly function and feel like themselves. Although their hard-working and perfectionist mindset may try to convince them that doing something creative may be a waste of time, this imaginative personality type should make time for at least one creative thing a day. By finding something where they can properly get out of their heads and use their focus on their passionate qualities, an INFJ can slip into a relaxing meditative state. Whether that be writing, scrapbooking, music, painting, drawing, dancing or anything else that catches their creative attention. When an INFJ is challenged to put their creative and imaginative mind to use, they can surprise themselves with some amazing creations. Number 8. Silence and Solitude Silence and solitude are some of the INFJ's very best friends. While other types can easily get restless and bored when by themselves, an INFJ can be elated by the thought of going home to do nothing. In fact, while most personality types are excited for the weekend to come together with friends and family and socialize, a dream weekend for the INFJ would be a nice, quiet weekend to rest, relax and recharge for the following week of playing human. Since the dominant function of the INFJ is their introverted intuition, they also need a fair amount of time to be able to listen to their intuitive hunches. Not only is it difficult to pay attention to intuition when surrounded by the busy world, but this type is also easily influenced by others' emotions. So, by spending a good amount of time alone, they can easily distinguish their thoughts from others. Number 9. Synchronicities Angels, spirits, tarot, horoscopes, you name it, INFJs are drawn to it. Most INFJs have their own set of beliefs when it comes to spirituality, psychism and astrology, but in the end, almost all INFJs believe in some sort of universal higher power and guidance. Synchronicities such as seeing repeated angel numbers throughout the day, finding dimes on the floor or getting a text from someone you were thinking about, some people would simply write these freaky encounters off as coincidences. But INFJs believe they go much deeper than that. To this introspective and intuitive personality type, it's as if these little synchronicities are little winks from the universe. Not only does the INFJ notice them throughout the day, but they also appreciate them more than the average person would and may even use them as a guide to make decisions. And number 10. Complexity INFJs love complexity, whether it be challenged to help a friend with a complex life problem or diving deep into research about the complexity of the human mind. In fact, when an INFJ is discussing a topic that is too one-dimensional, lacking the potential for multiple outcomes and variations, they can quickly lose interest. According to the neuroscientist Dario Nardi, INFJs experience a type of flow state when tasked to analyze complex problems. They love to think outside the box, question the unknown outcomes, and try to understand things from all angles and depths. This makes them amazing problem solvers who feel a need to get to the bottom of a situation for their own satisfaction rather than obligation. Not to mention, since they are such complex characters themselves, they can feel a type of connection and patience to concepts that require a good amount of digging. 
Well, that's it for today's cycles. So, if you're an INFJ personality type, do all these 10 things excite you? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to the channel for more cycle videos.